Hurts and make the start of the third quarter more, more of a point of emphasis after the struggles the other night? Is that kind of a talking point? I think out of half time? I'd say more than 48 minutes, you know, and, um, you know, uh, regardless of if we're scoring or not scoring or whatever, you know, we have to defend. That's the bottom line. That's a... Uh, you know, you have to, especially a team like this, you're going to have to play well at both ends, but uh, you have to know who you are, and for us to be a good team, we have to defend every night. So uh, that's been more the message. Where are, they, where are you with, like, being able to extend the minutes on Markel? Have you had those talks, or is it? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just little by little. You can see, you know, um, he plays so hard, and... Um, you know, he gets fatigued, so it's mm -hmm. it's going to be little by little. Um, but it, the, the way it's working out now is, you know, he's had, even the back-to-backs, you know, he's had some discomfort, but not significant. And um, so, you know, I think the way we're doing it, he's comfortable with, and, and you know, he's playing better and better. Mm -hmm. You noted with the shortened preseason, you wanted to kind of limit guys' minutes at the beginning of the season. Are you starting to get guys backed up to their to their normal minutes or the normal? Well, we didn't want to limit. It's more the injuries sure. put us in a position where we had to. And yeah, we're getting there. Yeah. Coach, for those of us who don't see you on a regular basis, Jonathan Isaac, what has he done? From, let's just say last year or this year, that's impressed you the most. What did he work on over the summer that's bearing fruit now? Um, well, I think it, you know, I mean, just overall skill level is shot making, um, ways to create separation with the ball, like in the post on the perimeter to get a shot. And then uh, also all the work he's done on his body, you know, the weight he's gained, his strength level. Um, you know, last year he was a terrific team defender. And a good and a good individual defender, but now he's both, and uh, so he's really made gains in all all areas. So with no Joel and B tonight, how does that change your defensive uh, strategy a little bit? Well, a lot, you know. Um, you know they're still very good. I mean, uh, you know we lost to them up there last year without him, and that was without Al Horford. So they still have uh, a very good team, but obviously. When a guy of his caliber doesn't play, I mean, a lot of the things we did, particularly in the post today, uh, you know, we won't have to do. Do you put any stock in steals as a, as a statistic as far as, I mean, I, I know when, when Stan was here, you would say, you know, you don't want to go for steals and be out of position, but you, know, you still want to get, you know, get steals because they're a sign of some defensive activity. So. I guess, what, how much stock do you put in, in that statistic, or what do you want to see from well, the guys I, who are getting statistics? Yeah, I think, I think that for our team, I think first of all, I think when you're a coach, what happens sometimes, believe it or not, is, look, there, there have been, over the years, like poor defenders who make the all-defensive team because they steal the ball. Mm -hmm. And when you coach against them, you're like, wow, mm -hmm. you know, because, you know, again, you know, sometimes the people picking the awards, <laughs> You know, whatever. That's another subject, you know. But uh, I think that what you want is guys that can both contain the ball and create turnovers without doing that, without without hurting your defense. And, uh, you know, Jonathan Isaac's been doing that. Aaron Gordon can do that. Michael Carter-Williams can do that. So for our team uh, to be, you know, reach our potential, say, defensively, we have to do all the things that we did well last year, not foul, protect the paint, be good at the rim. Uh, you know, our three-point shot defense was good and all that, but create more turnovers. But we have to do it without gambling and, you know, opening up things at the other end of the floor. Michael Carter-Williams, is he playing a little more off the ball or does he do both? He, I mean, you know, in practice he plays the point because, you know, he's our third point guard. But in the games he's playing off the ball just because, you know, DJ and Markel. Um, he's just been so good defensively that, you know, we're trying to find a way for him to play. And, um, but yeah, so he's not playing his natural position, but he's handling the ball a lot still. Mm -hmm. Good. All right.